Hello, welcome everyone. Hello. All right, let's see. Uh, I see Grandma D has joined us and we have Lori, Kathy and Courtney also. All right, I see we have Tim joining us. We'll go ahead and uh, get started. Um, let's see, to do our opening prayer, uh, Grandma D, if you're able, uh, Beidot Sai. ไปดอกไซเตาพันมาดอเดเดอันคีดอดอีอากิดอดอนเดโกเตดอดอเดเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเตเต
Mouse, M O U T A. A mouse. Mouse. No, don't say that. Mouth. Mouth, like our mouth. Bail. 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 Oh, yeah, by the mouth, but Baylor's mouth. All right. Any other questions? All right. Um, is there a particular topic? Well, let me let me put, share my screen and we can look at our uh, audio list of the Kiowa Culture Program and we could see what topic um, stands out. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Can you see that? Bird scouts. <laughs> <laughs> These melody, these aren't the original. No, listen. Uh, 
seem to be intermixed with other things. Yeah, it's not the full list. I was trying to find the full list. Hold on, let me look. Oh. <laughs> Well, I guess those are the only recordings I can pull up right now. The other ones, I'm not act able to access them right now. Okay, well, I'm going to share my screen again. Yeah. 
Now it's oh. <laughs> okay. Do any of those recordings look interesting? Well, I <clears throat> because I'm on one of the elders, I was leaving that to the younger ones to see what they needed. But I recall during the week, some uh, Lance White called and me and asked me if I knew the word for treaty, and I did not. And so I uh, see where tree or something up there somewhere I'm trying to remember the number, but This is from the uh, June six, June sixteen, six, twenty eighteen. No, that isn't the one from. Anyway, just I just thought maybe they, since it's from council, something I thought maybe they might mention. Maybe someone knows a word for treaty. I don't. What the hell do you know? Oh, let me, let me, oh, I got my mute off. Uh, Dane got asked that same question. We discussed it a little bit last week and um. 
we decided I don't think the Kiowa had a word for treaty itself. Uh, what it meant to them was like that agreement to sign a paper with the government, uh, with the, you know, the Indian people. That's what was the treaty to them. But I don't think that was actually a word. We couldn't find one. I didn't, I didn't, since there's something they've never done, I, I couldn't think of one either. I mean, uh, I asked what they needed it for, and they said the chairman was going to a meeting and, and was trying to use it. So, but really, we didn't have treaties. I saw some of it. I mean, I didn't know uh, if there is one, but like you say, that's something that <clears throat> they've never encountered, so they wouldn't be speaking of a treaty. No, they wouldn't have brought it forth with them. Uh, actually, you know, like that, in 1867, they had the Medicine Lodge Treaty. Uh -huh. uh, they called it the Barrett Throwdown or something, or the bear hit against something like falling on the ground, and uh -huh. that was the Saint Amal, Saint Amal Treaty, I guess you might say, but actually the word treaty is not Kiowa, I think. No, and I was thinking if they had one, they, they usually use a, a location for as a frame of reference for something like they're saying. Yeah, like yeah. this, uh -huh. to tell you yeah. where, where it was or what, what they were doing. I agree yeah. yeah, I agree with you 100%. <clears throat> So that was just what I was looking at. But like I say, <clears throat> someone else select. I wonder what kind of treaty they were talking about this time <laughs> in modern day. I think, I think he was just on the, use the word treaty. That's what I think. <clears throat> yeah, I just assumed he was going to that uh, symposium at Power call. Oh, okay. So they they have one every year about this time in April mm -hmm. at Northeast. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. goes several days, I think. So I just thought that I just thought maybe he wanted to use it like he likes to say cargo all the time. <laughs> Say hi to you, Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have to go to something where they were speaking of, of relations with the government, mm -hmm. what, what the government wanted them to do. Yeah. So, so I don't know. I think we have. I guess that would be what, what is it? We listen to the, the land allotments, deciding on who was going to get what piece of the, where their allotment was going to be. Oh. Yeah. Do we want to listen to one of the ones on land allotments? There's yeah. also one called Changes Among the Kiowas. But nothing on treaties? Mm -hmm. Nothing that says specifically treaty. But... Um, Maybe one of the ones, because there's one that says changes, there's a land allotment one, there's uh, war and peace with other tribes, but I don't know if that would talk about the government. So what's everyone think? Uh, learners, you got uh, ideas, opinions? Hmm. The allotment one, maybe. I I don't know if we've. I think we've listened to changes. I mean, it's always good information, though.
Do we listen to the one that says uh, changes after settling in Oklahoma? Oh, what do you think that one means? Uh, something about retain government guard. I don't know what that's about. Was it guardianship? It's what mom said. Maybe yeah, that's it. It says World War WW1, World War One, retain government guard. Oh, whoa. <clears throat> it changes made after settlement pretty long. So there's that 096, which is uh, well, click on that one. Like she said, see how long it is. <laughs> okay. And then hold on, let me met, let uh, Miss Marion in the room. She's joining us. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Melody, did you look in the book of the law and status among the Kiowa Indian? Funny, but uh, you might ask uh, Grandma Martinelle or uh, Grandma D. There's a book called Law and Status Among Kiowa Indians and uh, Jane Richardson put it out, but she put out a couple uh, of- Yeah, that's a book that's missing from my collection. I'll try to look through it while we're sitting here and see if they say anything about treaties or or something. So. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna press play on this one. Do we want the 096, which says retain government guard, or do we want the one that says uh, 97, which says government guard and then World War I? You want to start with 96? Yeah, the first one. Did anyone hear anything? No. I didn't. Okay. On that. Let me see. Okay. 
We still can't not hear it. We I I can hear him talking really low, but no one else. We would. Hmm. Yeah, I can't hear anything either. Okay, let's see. Understand what he said. I still can barely to hear it. Today. Is it, What's the topic are you, today? Are you on your laptop? I don't know if that makes a difference or not. It might make a difference. Hi, Miss Marion. We were uh, going to looking for a recording on the topic of something about treaties. We were talking about treaties with the U.S. government, and so we were just looking for some recording that might relate to that. Um, so that's what we were looking for. So now I'm just trying to get the audio settings correct. Well, actually, let's we will ask for a treaty during the past week and we didn't know of one so we're trying <clears throat> to listen maybe to someone will on these tapes will use a word but we don't know the word for treaty we don't believe there is such anyway that's why we're fooling with this gonna listen to something that will maybe someone will mention the word Point us to what they say instead mm -hmm. of treaty. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm messing with the uh, audio settings. Kathy, did you have any luck in that book? Not yet. It's uh, like a hundred or let's see how many pages it is. It looks, uh, we got 135 pages. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. But it's uh, mainly about law in the tribe itself when, you know, how law was uh, done within the tribe. Back. And I don't know when this was made. 1937. It's pretty interesting. It tells how women doesn't have any say. I <laughs> really. <laughs> hmm. Yes, they do. Well, now they do, but back then it was, you know, they were saying how it how it was back then. Oh, well, they did back then too. I would think so, but I would, I don't know who this Herring, who this girl is, uh, Jane Richardson Her Hanks. <coughs> That's not a white person.
There was a word that they used when they signed a paper was like touching, touching something. And that was a part of the description for right there, X mark. But um, I didn't realize you were looking for the word for treaty or how they said it. But I do know I have some info, but I didn't realize you were looking for that. So that's just going to be another search getting point to that. So that's going to take. All right, so apparently that audio file that we we're trying to listen to, the sound is very, very faint on it. It's very low volume. And I don't know, I can't, can't make it any louder. So I'm gonna try the 097, the next one that says Kiowa or government guard and World War I. Let's see if that works. Hi, Tim. Howdy, howdy. Tim, while well, we're uh, trying to get the audio files to work, do you, did you say you had a question? We have uh, Grandma D, Grandma Martha now, and we have Miss Marion with us. Well, and it might be to you, uh, Melody. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, on the uh, PowerPoints, uh, when you log on to the, when you uh, go to those PowerPoints to listen to those those um, words, y'all yep. did it one time where I don't know how, uh, like I can't like hear them, but y'all had to do something to get them going. You know what I'm talking about? 
when they're like you know those uh the ones that dane sent oh the recording the recordings voice. that recording. recordings that's our that are on powerpoint oh. and you know how i, yeah. I like, when I click on them i can't hear them um did you download the file as a powerpoint file do you have microsoft office on your computer well, um, I'm gonna have to get on my my older laptop probably to do that because I don't have um, Microsoft on my the other lap. So so the other laptop. So let me let me um. um <clears throat> yeah, I because I think that I remember uh, Dane saying that that's the only thing with those uh, to hear those audio is you have to have Microsoft Office or be able to have Microsoft PowerPoint and it won't yeah. play through like the Google Drive or you know any others, it just works on Microsoft PowerPoint files. So you have to download it as a Microsoft PowerPoint um, and then you'll, you should be able to hear it once you do that. Okay, um, because I was, I was trying to, uh, oh, I was just doing some practicing this morning and I was just, uh, wasn't able to get onto them and, and listen to any of them. And then on the uh, on the glossary, uh, I was you know how we had to read a read read a story for the this um, level two, and I was looking at this was the Cabo way. Um, I was looking at that one, and of course you can uh, you can uh, they got it on the audio, and they got the words to it. Uh, but, you know, I was trying to, of course, I don't know what it says in English. So I was trying to uh, look, go to the glossary and look up the English words to them. Um, and I don't know. I, I It's just not lining up with the glossary we had. So, and I don't mean to interrupt your meeting today to, with these questions. Uh, but I thought, uh, I don't know if, um, the, if you know what I'm talking about, that story, this was our Kawa way. This, this was the Kawa way in olden times by Charles Ridberg. Yeah. And so I was trying to go, because I, you know, I mean, I, that's the one I want to read, but I would like to know what he's saying also, instead of just saying the Kawa word. Um, let me try emailing you the sound file and seeing if it works that way. Okay, I have, I, I can hear it. I can hear it, but I was just trying to go to the glossary to see what they were saying in English is what I was trying to do. But it's just like when you go to like the E, the first word is uh, so or e -D -D -so, e -D -E -T -S -O. And when you go to that in the glossary, it's just like, it's not even there or something. I'm, I don't know if maybe I'm just looking up the wrong place or something. <clears throat> oh, oh, you want the translation. Um, yeah, that's the, the tricky part is for, um, that's for us learners to try to translate. And so if we take a stab at translating it, then we email it to Dane and he can correct us or let us know if something needs to be adjusted. Yeah. You know, you can recognize some of the words. And that's why I was going to the glossary and say, man, I'm gonna see if I can figure this out myself, what they're saying. But <laughs> it's not, you know, when you look at the glossary and the way it's spelled, it's like, this is not even in the glossary. So I didn't know, you know how we could go about if a couple of, I mean, maybe not today, but where we can just hear that and see if we can figure out what they're saying on some of them. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know when we can do that because it's just so limited on time. Um, well, why don't we ask that question to Dane on Wednesday? Okay. All right. That'd be because he said he was jumping in, jumping on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. He'll, he, he could, he might have some uh, strategies. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's a good, I mean, that's because I think that's the one I want to read and I, I want to practice on, but I just want to know what they're actually saying in English. So and I was just trying to go this morning to the glossary and see if I could figure it out, but it was just, I just couldn't. Because, you know, the E, I couldn't find the word when I looked in the E and, uh, I recognize some words, you know, that's kind of familiar words, but it just wasn't enough. So anyway, that, that that's it, Melody. And I, I didn't mean to interrupt your what you guys were doing today. Oh, uh -huh, no worries. Yeah, um, on Wednesday, I think that'd be a good question to ask. And we can see if uh, Dane has any 
suggestions. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. I who? Paul. Awesome. Thank you, Tim. Um, does anyone have any other questions? Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try one of these other files here. this time, I'm going to ask uh, my Aunt Hazel to give us the invocation. Any way of turning that up? Or is that low? I have no idea. All my volume's up at 100%. Mm -hmm. Three, testing, one, two, three. The Kiowa Cultural Program on this day of uh, September the 6th, 1978, here at the Witch Line Church, I would like to say again that we're really grateful that we could come here and uh, hold our tape sessions here and we owe a great deal of thanks to, to the sponsors of this, of this church here. And we're, we've had a lot of good sessions here. And we're coming to a time where, at this time, we're becoming to as is now. So those that are present here today is Lloyd Toyball. Gail Spotted Bird, George Killier Daughter, James Silverhorn, Stephen Zotai, Guy Tampion, Hazel Boton, Esther Topai, Isabel Tuetchett, Margaret Dinkar, I myself, Jasper Sankadoto. And at this time, I'm going to call on my dad, James Silverhorn, to give us the invocation. Did anyone hear that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You can okay. hear it? Okay, good. Because I, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> but okay, if you guys can. Okay, let me press play. Hey, <laughs> 
Ino ya tenc pamun ankartan ki kodom tayak pakul ko. Dom hava baat ayo na kaun ki kul da le ke dan ki yaat ate da sen. Ha ya ke da is pagat telon da ke niam khayam da me dom tay speke ko dom ek asa da ki kaun na pak ya ki kaun to de ke kam tham da ko dom ek kom da da me do. Ha i ke dom pak ko ie tan pon de dom da amon pi kam pon de de dom tay so Get on the dump that you did, or coke, pay, do they got cut up, so taba, key on my cash and a pass and gimp of food, so set and pound ten to me, come on, eight pate a la for the dog, EM down the dump that shan't the two look echoed to get on, on cook echoed the gat mat on the conk of Bobo, pay dog, cut up a good, eat and also a key gold of the shan't the key on it. I had a spade of Ekom to get our dog, Ian Deco, Ekom to get out there. Draw my hint, I had some time bold, I like one day, I get out, don't I get out there. One day, but other time at the car gets from there, drive it, say, you get out there, come and move on more. Come on, I want the count, I don't say. You get there, go down, they can show, get them. They are more every home and tail on there. Get pay on to get all in there, get a mush like kick of the hank, a social dog, so I saw ten days, some people come there. Hey, more and more spread it. I get it. Oh, boy, I'm going to get it. Oh, boy, I'm going to get it. Oh, boy, I'm going to get it. Come here, I'm going to get it. 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 And now our subject for today will be the... Okay, does anyone want to comment? Grandma D, were you able to hear it? Go ahead. Yes, I could hear it. No, not very. Very well, but that's just the way it is for me. So don't worry about it if everybody else can hear. I um, have a difficulty hearing. So. Oh. Um, but, oh, go ahead. I was going to say. There somewhere what well, means useful. You know, let someone else say that who really heard better than I did. It's kind of oh, uh, Grandma Martha. Okay, I didn't hear a, a whole lot because he talked fast, <laughs> and uh, and it's not real loud. So uh, from what I gather in his prayer, that he's um talking about them being able to gather again so they can uh, uh, record there. And um, he mentioned somewhere in that first part that he said things are beginning to fade now, things that we have. And then um, he talked, went back and talked about the greatness of things that God can do. And he made it kind of uh, good for people to discuss. Um, and almost like he talks about the guidance that God is giving to them to help them out. And that's the gist of what I got out of it. Oh, a uh ho. -huh. And uh, Miss Marion, were you able to catch anything? Uh, she said, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, getting help here today. Still, I'm thankful for that. And he says, get peek, get out. Things are 
can't um, I didn't really um, catch every word that he said. He was talking really fast. And uh, so I couldn't keep up this time. Oh, aho. Okay, I'm going to hit play. Many changes took place since the Kiowas came to the western Oklahoma. We're going to talk about the changes that have occurred during our time. So at this time, uh, like I've been starting off with my dad here so that the others can get an idea on what just what the subject will be. Amon e Tom Kopiak of Tarkuteki Akiyo Deon Ekato. Yeah, Melody, you hit a real bad spot in there. Here. All right, we lost audio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is anyone able to catch? I can't hear it. Yeah, it just went down. <laughs> I couldn't hear everything. Uh, it's bits and pieces of mm -hmm. yeah, it's a good he has some good words, but it's Miss Marion, were you able to make out any of the words? Talks about God, our Creator, and how things used to be, and then the white people came, and then He was uh, doing the transition portion about how things changed. We just catch bits and pieces of words that really. Oh. What about you, uh, Grandma D? Did you hear any of that? Yeah. 
Okay. At first he said they were just cowboys, and then I know part of the word I heard was just like a bunch of ants came. You know, everyone came. Yeah. And and uh, everyone came on the scene, and uh, and then it. Uh, that's all I remember saying that that that's where the changes were, and when. Everyone came to where it used to be just Kiwas, many th and so that's that's all I remember. Call them like they were ants. Everyone came crawling along with like a bunch of ants. So, yeah. oh, there were roads everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. Name the changes, like you said, roads and houses and towns and, mm. yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope. Uh, Grandma Martha now. Yeah, I think in the beginning he talked about the uh, word Goigu Akil. He's talking about they lived in western Oklahoma, I guess. But he said it's different now. Yeah, he said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, dog. Oh yeah, it's, all, it's different now. And he said now they've got all kind of roads all over, and like like uh, those two said, uh, we're just traveling around on those roads like ants all over, driving around. And then they built those towns and they start building schools and churches. And then I lost the sound for it back then. Ah, oh, what was the phrase he used to describe that it was like ants? When he started talking about the roads first, and then he said that a mimo, a was the ants. That's the way it looked like we were traveling around. <laughs> like ants. That's a good way to describe it. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I think what they're talking about is you know if you look historically they had the gas automobile came along and then they built the blue ribbon highway which is route 66 and they encourage people to go see the national parks and make money and do all this other stuff and so yeah they would be like ants just going crazy like for no place for nothing right for the, what they would look at mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Um, and we're still all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. A little like a bunch of ants going to powwows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought of that too, oh, but I didn't want to oh. say it. <laughs> <laughs> all over the world. Mm -hmm. right. So we're right in there with them. I love that description. <laughs> so true. Can you repeat the uh, phrase for, was it like a whole bunch of ants or did he reference like ant, ant hills? No, just kind of like ants moving around. That's the way he said it. You know, like a trail. Yeah, slow in my mind. I'd have to hear it again to say exactly how you I can try to rewind it to where before yeah. we lost the sound. Yeah, so we hear that a little bit. Uh, okay, hey, Tha, let me pull it up. Many changes took place since the Kiowas 
came to the western Oklahoma. We're going to talk about the changes that have occurred during our time. So at this time, uh, like I've been starting off with my dad here so that the others can get an idea on what just what the subject will be.
Grandma D, did you catch any more of that? Well, I just, I can, um, I couldn't hear that well, I could hear him a little more, but he was speaking up of, of how the, all the changes came about and all those, uh, when the white people came and the changes came. And also he pointed out that we here have seen changes also. So, so anyway, he was pointing out that, and they were gonna speak on the changes and, and things were saw me. Most of you know, hopefully y'all know saw me. Mm -hmm. I think he, he, used, he used that twice, I believe. And, uh, and that they came and so many, they populated the area, the place where it was. So, and uh, so maybe the others couldn't have heard the lot. I, I really have difficulty here today, especially, but I did hear nothing. Oh, oh, um, Miss Marion? Did you catch anything? We see that. We can see all of the change. Either because the tape is goes up and down, up and down. Well, I I probably could hear it if I listen to it directly, but it's just because it's, 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 that's all I'm going to say. Oh, uh -huh. um, Grandma Martinell? Hey, um, <clears throat> I just heard the first part clear enough, but again, it kind of got low at the end and I couldn't make out too much on it. But um, let's see, what did he say? Um, that long ago, um, let's just say Aunt E for a long time ago. Um, the land was just like it was, and he said the only people living there was the Kiowa. And then he talked about when it got different, it, things became different. And then when he was talking about the roads, he said, Koan, yeah, what did he say? Kuya, ku, kuya, like they're, it's laying, roads are laying all around, is what he's trying to say. Ku, kuya, kuya. And then he talked about, um, uh, everybody driving around and he said, a mama told Aho on Gu or something like that, which means they were driving around. The ants were driving around there. And then he talked something about, I heard him say that when the white people came in there, they something like, he sounded like he said, don't make mock all doll, which I wondered if it's when they start, you know, like plowing the ground and all that stuff. Things changed, and it's about as far as I could hear it. Oh, oh, -ho. <coughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> A coup. It's just talking about on the roads. Ants everywhere. Oh, Wish we could hear that real good, real clear. <laughs> it would be interesting. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to press. Bon do ke a kono e kato tali kono to. Um, ke a pel do ke tong ke ke to te koi tong ke a e kon e ke to te. Em ko kong ke to to pao hal mai o manaho to ya de to ba a so on to pa sen ke tong to de ko ko to de tong to ne ko pa e ko em phon to go wo wen to e ko e ki ma e ko e phon ma o ko ba da to sen ko ka um en ko sen to da ke sen to de ko Okay, tag it the goo or corner hawk as an alarm get power come with boom off the boom how you got saying got a tall like a more salloy by saddle pan to land but don't do go to go they over the guy to get out the car up being got on a shaky a day but call way boy I got day on the get high get we got no key to a casal เอ้กุนเกตจะได้ท่อสู้เป็นมาชาไปก่อนท่อสู้มามันก็สู้เราวัดตองนี่ก่อนนี่กิ๊กกับปลาอ้อเหรอเนี่ยกับปลาวิวิกุดเจ้าชาเลกับเกี่ยวกับเกี่ยวอุ้งหาได้ก็เกี่ยวปอดได้ยัดได้ก็ได้กระตุ้มตาบะเดมโอ้โลบะเขียไอ้กุยก่อนฮะเบียเทนยัดได้ก็กระมีอพ่อเห็นก็ได้ก่อนพ่อยันได้คู่แล้วพอก็ตรงกันก็ตอนได้บ้าพ่อตัวก็ตั้มอุบบะปอดต้องแกห้องซอ่ะเราก็ก็ปอดเอากับเกมอสซอผ่านอ๋อเนี่ยป้าก็เกยี่มันห้ามตอนนี้ก็เกิดอาเกิดเขาเองก็ก้อยตรงกันก็เกิดกูรถอาแกก็เกิดคนรอดเนี่ยก็ตาลายอมเกงกู้ยัยเต้นอ่ะต้องแกอาขี้เก่งก็อาได้เชิญอาเกตอกเอตอตาปะเดลเต้ฮอนเด็กเอ้มันอ่ะเอาภาษาตาปะตอกเอเกอมเด็ดตอนนี้ก็อาเกตตรงนั้นปะตอนนี้ก็ทอยอ่ะฮะเกี่ยวนี่ก็เทลองไปจอดอดเอกูเห็นมันนี่ก็โดนเกเกอุบนี่ก็ขี้อ่ะอันน้อยอ่ะสั่นไม่ก็มันนี่ก็เอเกก็มันนะเอเอเอตัวมันเก่งต้องที่คำเสพเจ้าพระเทศใส่ฟืนเขาก็เปิดนั่นว่าบ้าปูตอนนั้นกูตอบมาชุดสุกยาปูนั้นมันได้ซ้อมเนี่ยไอ้เปย์นั่นมันเองก็อัลท่าได้ตัวก็เกิดอะไรมันเปย์ก็เย็นเปย์ก็ปอดถอยก็ได้ก็อันเองก็นอกอ่อนแต่ไปห้องสมัยตอนนั้นตาตัวก็น่ากันอ่านอ่านอ่อนมันดันมาองต้องก็คนตาได้อย่างเด็ดดำเท่าคนตาอย่างเกิดอู้เลยก็ต้องแกเลี้ยงก็เก็บกูดูตาเก่งก็คิดอะไรเด็ดต้องก็เก็บตัวเด็ดเนี่ยหลักฟิวนาร์เกี่ยวกับแต่ยังนี่ก็บันทึกเคยตัวมองก็ทำให้มันหมดปอลทางก็ต้องแกท้อหินก็ดอกลูกก็ไอ้กูบัดดอกอะไรก็อ๋อคนได้บัดออกกูแต่เสื้อหลังยังหายก็ได้ก็ต้องแกก็เก็บตัวท่านนักเก็บเก็บสักปะหงเก็บให้ดอกตัว Tak betkan kerja abah mengayat ot, engkau kongen, engkau tahu deh, pada engkau mungkin kiri tu, kita kau nong dan kau tu hai kau, nong kau hai ya, kau deh kau cari tato engkau bensin tu cah honda nong, mai kau, hei kau, oh ya kau 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 tu zaman mana, engkau tahu kau doras kau cuit, hei kau bawa kau tu hai ya do, no hai ya do kau macam mon, teh engkau tahu soal kau. อีกก็มันบักก่อยตรงมันนอนในบูมเองก็พากเกียดักเกียดก็ได้โดยบูนอนแต่เกียดก่อยตรงมาหายเด็ดออดหันเทนแต่มาขี้ข้อเด็ดก่อยตรงเนื้อเกียดตาเกียดมันเดียร์ไอ้คนไปสอนเนี่ยเฮาเฮาก็ก็เน็กเอาแต่ไปก้าวสามแล้วพอเด็กก็ยี่ก็เกิดเบลคิออลชาเด็กก็เ
Well, he's, he said a lot of things. It's just impossible for me to remember mm -hmm. all, the, all the things that he said. And I remember he was saying that, um, I guess he started out with the way that Pi was lived. And he talked about uh, women that when they want, uh, would... Uh, had, you know, uh, harness up their horses to the wagon and they would call them by their names. And he said, I saw them, I saw the women do that. So he started with that and then uh, went on <clears throat> to talk about, uh, well, my memory's bad, but I'm going to start at the end where he said that Kiowa was good and the language was good and it was good to hear. And then he talked about how the younger people are not learning it. And, and so he didn't really say that it would die out. He just talked about uh, Iowa and how good it was. What, and uh, so uh, I think of something else, but I thought that was good where he told about the women. He said, I saw them. The women worked hard. They were good workers and I saw them. And then he he said um, they call their horses by name, I think. Isn't that what you heard, Martha? Marianne? Yeah. 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 That was good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that that's that's it. I'll probably think of some more, but those are the things that I remember. And like I say, he said he had a lot to say. Yes, he did say a lot. <laughs> A lot. We can't possibly, unless we listen time and time again, to get everything he right. said. Right, because he did have a lot to say. <clears throat> By the way, the speaker was George Quandotti. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope you're um, Hmm? Are you asking? Are you speaking to me or Martha? Uh, Miss, yeah, Miss Marion, did you hmm. want to make any comments? Uh, same thing, what uh, Dolores said, he was talking about they call the horses too, and when they make those sounds, like you say "whoa" and make that uh, click in your tongue, and then call the horses. <laughs> then he said, "There's some people you have to take care of the animals, and their horses are just so skinny and sturdy." And um, he said, well, he said, he said, like, it just, you know, it's just uh, another word. Translation. He was talking about, he was, talking, he was speaking really fast about something for, I yeah. know, so many different topics and talking about food and um, how they can call her. Credit to the women again. I have to say the women are always industrious. And it should be that way today, too. And uh, he says, yeah, there's a lot of people who can speak English really well and, and, and make presentations. He said, but the kind of words are much better. And uh, 
the Kiowa language is far. I mean, I'm doing my translation success. It's much better, far exceeds what is said in the white man's words. Because the Kiowa, to me, and again, this, I'm trying to say what he said. The Kiowa words are much stronger and much better and say and mean much more than the English or language. And he says, my children, he named about three daughters. He said, they don't speak Kiowa. Maybe it's because they're ashamed or they just uh, don't care. And so he went into that topic. <laughs> I'll just stop there. Um, oh, oh. All right. Uh, Grandma Martinell, would you like to comment? Okay, just a little bit, because they talked about most of it. Um, and, and like uh, both of them said, there's a lot in there that he's talking about. You almost have to listen to it a couple of times to get all of it. Uh, but he started out by talking about... Um, like she said, those women, he said that he thought they were smart because they learned how to drive. I mean, in a sense, drive, uh, get around, and they learned to, uh, you know, manage their horses. He spoke to the horses, what he said. <laughs> he was listening to all those words. And then uh, they could, you know, hook their own, um, harness their own horses, like she said, and go to town and, and, and buy food and stuff if they needed it, like, for instance, bread. And then they uh, get meat and they come home and make soup. And uh, he was talking about that. And he said, boy, that was so good that he said, sometimes just thinking about it, he almost choked, you know. <laughs> and then he, he goes on and talks mm -hmm. about, I don't know, I wrote flowers down, but it could have been flour, like you make your bread, because he was saying they, they it was all made. And he said, um, something about trying to grow that. I'm talk that's when I put wheat bread. And he said, you saw me. It was kind of like, almost like they could grow some of their stuff too. And he said, then he went on to the language and said, he, Bible words were good and the white language is not so good. And then he talked about the ones that could not speak in his family. And they mentioned somebody first named Benson. I want to say it might've been his son-in-law was Kyle was speaking, but he said, not those younger ones. He said, they don't know the Kiowa language now. He said, um, they just know the white language. And like I said, you have to listen to it a few times to get everything. Oh, that is a lot. That's <laughs> awesome. He covered a lot of topics there. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, let me uh, play the next speaker then. And now at this time, uh, Dad James Silverhorn. Na kwa ko get don we idan ko wat don ko ka ba yo na get. Koye <laughs> they on 
Okay. Uh, Grandma D, would you like to? <clears throat> well, he talked about, started out with how people lived, and then later people lived in houses. And uh, they lived in houses. And then he said that uh, we're all following the, the white man. He's leading us. And we're all following along. And he said in the past, they used to, uh, women dress different, the men dress different, and dress and now, and he came down to cooking and the way they cook. Now we cook with the uh, with the stoves. And they also mentioned uh, how the land was treated and how the water was treated. He was talking about, I guess, the way that uh, the way people treated and the earth and all the natural the water and the land, and it's all different. It's not that way anymore. So, and then he talked about, you know, uh, cooked by a regular stove, wood stove, and I guess now there's not any wood stoves, but he's talking about the changes that have come about. And that's James Silverhorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. Um, Miss Marion, would you like to comment? And of course, you know, he just said, agree what she, um, like, like, and holding her hand, we out on the land. Water is ruined, the land is wasted. And um, otherwise, I agree with Dolores' comments. Oh, I hope. Uh, Grandma Martina. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much agreeing with them too. Um, when he first started talking, he said, as far as I know, he said that when the cows uh, lived and they were fenced in, that's what he said, they were fenced yeah. in the house. And he said they had a lot of stuff, though. They had horses and their women were uh, good with taking care of stuff and their food. And he said now there were houses with electricity mm -hmm. and cars. He said it was all different. He said the clothing was even different. And he said, like, the white people are pulling us along by the hand. That's basically what he said in Cairo. And then he talked about things they were doing. He said they were even burning the land. He didn't understand that. And then he said um, the tone, tone was water, wasn't good either. 
And he said, that, like she said, the women cook faster. <laughs> they had different type of stove or something. But at the very end, he ends with, we even have like ice now. You know, they used to have no ice boxes with chunks of ice went in those little boxes. Yeah. He said, thing, yeah. I heard him say, thing, yeah, which is ice. Yeah. So they said, oh. we have ice now. Mm -hmm. He used a word at the beginning. I tried to write it down. I'm not. I'm not good like Marcinelle or anybody else, but he said, yeah, yeah, but or something. Yeah, but hmm. Yeah, at the, at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but So, I don't know. Yeah. It was a, it's a title word that I'm not familiar with at all. Yeah. But like the other speaker mm -hmm. said, you can say more in Kiowa than you can in English. So mm -hmm. I think that was right, one right. of those phrases. I have to listen to it again. Yeah, I thought that's kind of, it's almost like talking about yeah, and yeah, 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 do you want me to try to read it? We'll see if it's at the beginning. Okay. Okay. I'm Dad James Silverhorn. I'm <laughs> Aki, a cook a hot added on him, told pass all his hand, told my knee, told the home that the cat or the cup. Can go on there, get dying, go out the key, get out the hank, get out the cool hose, and a trank, a group a lot, going to get part of the country, my yoga done it, pay on the country, peep, I can't get on more cook, and he got a girl with Domishon, the cabin, the shon, the bay, so I can't go. Yeah, that was it right there. Yes, yeah, but don't get far though, though. He said, No, yeah. Oh. How would you translate that? We don't know. Yeah, but don't get far though. Get far though means to be keeping something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Maybe he means uh, animal. Keeping your could be, yeah. Yeah. Like you keep, like, yeah, mine, yeah, yeah, that you keep them. <laughs> yeah, they, they come to live with you. <laughs> yeah. They come so, to live with you and you keep them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe, yeah, but so maybe that's what he means, animal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, or something like that. We're talking about people coming to stay yeah. with you or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They just come to live with you. Mm -hmm. That's what people usually they came to visit for about a month mm -hmm. or two or a year. <laughs> the, there's, there's those regular kinship terms, and then they always use these terms too, like. That your daughter in law, or your son in law, that's like they just came to stay for a little while or something. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're just visiting with yeah, you. They just came over. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so I thought maybe Mela here maybe means animals. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, could be animals. Mm -hmm. 
and the animals are usually uh, referred to as um, like pets They're in the same category as pets. Hmm. The word threat to keep an animal. Yeah. Yeah. How do you uh, say the word for pet? To say it correctly, I have to look, I look at my word, but I know that's what I see. Um, but that's what it's referred to, but how they're referred to. Interesting. Um, okay, let me see. I think we might have time for one more. Yeah, because Spa Do is referring to like a pet dog. Yeah. Pet dog, get Spa Do. Yeah, you're keeping it. Yeah. You took it in, you're keeping it. You're taking care of it. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Bondo means to keep kept. Say good and get Bondo or something like that. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's see, um, let me play the next one. Do the eat of the on the more to look. Get down the cognala boy, cut while I long that I can cut toe, pick a diantel. My dog and bark, I call more to it, the copita, eat of it. So I take a day on the more. Get down the dump, them can take a hot, the bank it, and I can take a saw yet. No. The man at this time, Yale Spotted Bird, will give us this version. <laughs> I don't have to have to call the dog and gang of the key that can go. I have the key that can go get dog and gay. I go a tongue, I go get high, get dog. Eight the Honda, I get on, get eight the Honda, I get sucked, the Honda get high, go on, kick. A shiny hang, get on, I have the key that can go to the Honda, get buck hard, the Honda, go get. Okay, don't get everything is convenient. Transportation, food, clothing, you name it. The Kiowas have access to those things. Here the key that get go go tail or leg or keep I dog or get ten to the little get ten to dang. I come to all get get on dog here day. Oh, they get 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 don't have a on leg. Aki Yangi go back to the tongue, go 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 to the tongue, the tongue, go to the tongue, go to the go to the tongue, go to the tongue, go to Go pay get dog on the furnitures get dog. They on the go on the television they come on the guy guy don't get one hand get dog on. Ah, go and go boy. Gas pa 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 dog and go be a my dog be on my dog. The beam, all, all she does is just light the stove. 
and in some instances electric stoves everything is that's what I mean by the convenience of the home they get tents with the only other key that can so get sun get open equal boy on the game the heat or but don't get the dumb dog all day and go by my my mom and my day oh yeah the oh yeah the eight they go uh, it's going to have a major part in the heating of our homes of the future and cooking of our food. The oil, the tiller, the tongue, 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 the Get all them up, and sad dog, oh, sand, get go, or toy, go. Oh, I call tag, oh, it's say. I have United States, they go, eh, or a night on sand, but tongue. Gone dig a song, and tell my daughter, and so on, some toss and move on, he get all the undig a song, me go. Dog Elway God and Tug now the key that got taught or go harbor at high doors sometime or when going to eat. Ah, ah, go hang, take it though. They all hear the many changes that took place and they will continue to change as long as man ingenuity is put into effect. And here on the morning, eat I dog, eat the body. They hold the game, I am the dumb tech. I hear all my dumb toes on my gun, the game, gum robots, they come, they do the work now. Hope he told you. Who won't eat it all day? A tile coat, got the Honday, the dime, the big more than the key that kept it far, they got no more small part. They all hear this. They hunt the dog, dog, eat dog, dog, eat dog, they aren't going to the Bible, but don't go back, don't, don't go back, 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 he kind of translated some, but um, yeah. German, German D, did you want to translate any of the Kiowa? Well, he's the youngest, I guess, of the group. And if you'll notice, he uses a lot of English when he's grasping for Kiowa. And so he did say that they get for called off. And he translated that it's convenient uh -huh. and uh, then he he talked about uh, diseases being conquered and and like I say he spoke mostly in English he talked about the man going to the moon and planting the flag there tell that who was there first I don't know if we were the first or not, but anyway, he mentioned that. He just mentioned, and he mentioned robots and talking about how his father used to say that everything was so new and so strange that he was wondering what, what he would think if he were living at the time of this recording. That's all. Oh, oh. Uh, Miss Marion, do you want to add anything? Uh. <clears throat> oh. Wondering and amazed, I guess, about the changes. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and uh, Caravan. Okay, that's it. And Grandma Martha, did you want to add anything? I really don't have a lot to add in there. I thought he was interesting <laughs> in some of his uh, descriptions, but um, he said, for talk, talk, starts out by saying, talking about our uh, goit all again. You know, the way we do things, we've always been knowing how to do that. And then everything changed and it got even easier for everything for um, the Kiowa people. Um, it pains so dog like that you know now you could even have a four bedroom house. And he talked about the goopel, goopel get dog. He's talking about all the stuff you could acquire and the things you had to make it easy on you, like gas and cooking, and you just light up a stove and you could cook. <laughs> it's convenience of the home. Everything was new, different. Uh, you had heat in your homes and with your cooking. Um, he said, hey, go, uh, ha, fa. that means they got going there, you know, he said it must have took thousands of years, and then he goes on to say what Miss Harriger said about him, them planting the flag on the moon, I guess, but he said there's change, and they even got rid of smallpox, the illness, it just was really something to them, and keep in mind, this is Western Oklahoma he's talking about. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. Well, aho de ha. I think uh, we're at our time. We got through a few speakers anyway in this recording. I'll see if I can uh, work on the audio for those other two recordings, see if there's any way to increase the volume. <clears throat> for next time. Um, well, let's see. Any other final comments before we wrap up? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, for our closing prayer, um, Grandma Martha now, if you're able to, uh, bait up. Oh, Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you again for helping us to um, uh, be able to listen to our Kiowa words and be able to translate them back into English for the ones that need to understand what is being said. Uh, we're thankful that we do have that ability to do that. That is, that is a gift, and we thank you. We also want to say um, thank you for everyone who could make it here today and all our families, the people that work with us. Uh, we ask that you give um, uh, them a good day, a good week coming up, and that we can uh, all be together again in the near future and continue to learn our Kawa language. We thank you for everything. Aho, Obaha. Aho. 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 All right, everyone. Well, it's good to see everyone and we'll see you next Sunday and some of you will see on Wednesday. So um, with that, um, hey, gaba oi thong ta ta. Oh. Have a good week. <laughs>